If you want a better life, you have to change your daily habits. So today, I'm gonna share with you eight simple habits that you can do when you get home to make your life way better. Let's go. One, organize your clothing to stay in motion. You see, when you get home, it's tempting to kick off your shoes, throw your clothes on the floor, and then just throw yourself on the couch to relax. But these habits can ruin your momentum for the evening. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that by just simply organizing your clothing. Just think of Newton's law of motion. An object in motion stays in motion. If you keep the momentum when you get home by neatly organizing your clothing, like hanging up your jacket or neatly placing your shoes, you're more likely to stay productive for the rest of the day. And not only that, as pushed by the greatest minds in history like Albert Einstein or Leonardo da Vinci, a clean space equals a clear mind. So the next time you get home, just take a minute to put everything in their space and it will set you up for the rest of the day. So now you've set the tone for the rest of the evening, which is crucial for the next seven habits that I'm gonna show you that will make your life better. Number two, I'm gonna show you how to change the way you breathe so you can have more energy. Because think about it, you come home from work or from school, and what do you do? You grab a coffee, an energy drink, and then you'll just lay down for the rest of the day, right? You wanna just chill, you wanna relax. But think about it, caffeine this late in the day will disrupt your sleep, which will make you more tired the next day. So I'm gonna show you a breathing technique that will give you more energy and alertness instantly. It's actually quite simple. You're gonna to wanna to sit up, and then you're gonna do a quick one to two second breath through your nose, let me show you. So once you sit up, you're gonna do a quick two second breath. And then you will immediately release through your mouth. As you do this, your body will start warming up and this extra heat will trigger the release of adrenaline through your body, which will give you that alertness and adrenaline. You will repeat this process 15 times and you're gonna feel more energized for the rest of the evening without caffeine. The third thing I want you to do is this stretch to become taller. See, think about it. Through the day, your spine compresses from all the pressure of the day. So go into your room, pick whatever show you usually like to watch and get into a corner. I'm gonna show you how to do the Cobra stretch, which will make you feel more confident, but also make you look taller. So start by lying on the floor, on your stomach and chest. You're gonna stick your palms directly under your shoulder. Then you will take a deep breath as you do a push up while keeping your hips on the floor. Here's the key part. You're gonna then look forward and keep your neck neutral. You will hold this position for about 60 seconds. What it's doing is essentially decompressing your spine. Once the 60 seconds are up, you can release, breathe, and then do it again. And after you're done, you can get up and automatically your spine's gonna feel more relaxed. You're gonna feel a little bit more elongated. You're gonna have a different pep in your step. Let's keep it going. Four, open your bank up every day to become rich. Now, you might think checking your bank statement every day is a form of overkill, but it's not. Instead, it is a form of self-monitoring, and this will make you rich. Self-monitoring is about knowing exactly what you're doing, or in this case, knowing exactly what you're spending. And according to science, self-monitoring is an efficient way to achieve your goals. For example, in this specific study, they took patients that were overweight and by simply making them check their weight every single morning without adding any new dietary plans or workout plans, they all experience significant weight loss. So for example, let me show you my bank statement. Come on, bro, I'm not gonna show you my bank statement. But when you do look at your own bank statement, you're gonna start seeing all these small purchases add up like your daily coffee or that impulse Uber Eats delivery. And when you become this constantly aware of everything you're spending, you are less likely to make irrational decisions. So now make it a habit. Every day before you go to bed, open that bank statement. I don't care how ugly it is, damn. It could be at zero. I want you to look at everything you spend on because that simple habit will make it far less likely for you to make mistakes in the future. Number five, we'll start in the bathroom where I'm gonna show you how to tackle the three bacteria that causes acne. See, for men, they like to overcomplicate their skincare, not for me. I like to keep it simple where I know this is the bacteria that causes acne and then this is how you neutralize it. That's what I'm gonna show you. So let me show you the first one. You see, throughout your day, you will collect bacteria on your face and the most common one is the Cudibacterium bacteria. It is the one that causes the most acne for most people and this type of bacteria loves oily skin and it ends up causing red pimples through inflammation. Now the good news with this bacteria, remember what I said, it loves oily skin. So this is the easiest one to get rid of. 
where you just need a good face wash that can cut through the oil to make sure you don't give it a chance to breed on your skin. Now the next bacteria you need to tackle is one that's a little bit harder. It's called Staphylococcus epidermis. It's not as common, but it's more difficult to get rid of. In other words, you won't be able to get rid of it with the regular face wash. You're going to need a face wash that can neutralize this bacteria. And the best ones are the ones that include salicylic acid. Now the one that I use is from Geology. You guys have seen me use this one for years now. It's my go-to face wash. It's the one that I'm using now. And it has 2% salicylic acid, which is enough to not only neutralize the bacteria, but it also helps with reducing inflammation. And finally, for my guys with severe acne, you probably have something called Staphylococcus aureus. This type of bacteria is not as common, but when you do have it, it causes the most severe reaction on your skin. And just like the previous Staphylococcus, this strain, you won't get rid of it with the regular face wash. You're going to find a face wash that has a powerful acid like salicylic acid. Again, if you boys wanna level up your grooming routine, geology is the way to go. See, with geology, you can find custom skincare for your specific needs. If you guys click the link down below, you can actually take a skin test, which I ran through, and it will tell you exactly what products you need for your specific skin problems, whether that's acne, redness, or dryness. And if you guys wanna check out Geology and get the stuff that actually works and simplify everything, click the link down below. Number six, use contrast bath therapy. So when you get close to the end of your day, your main goal should be to hit a reset button on your mind and on your body. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how all of you can do this with a contrast shower. Let me explain. First, you're gonna turn on the shower into warm water, whatever you're mostly comfortable with. I want you to get in like you normally would and let your body start pumping blood. This is crucial, because once you're here and the blood starts flowing, you're gonna start feeling more relaxed. It is at that point that I want you to immediately put it to cold water and then stand here. for 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. Ah, never get used to that. All right, once the 30 seconds are over, you can go back to the warm water. A study showed that exposure to hot and cold water helps increase relaxation more than a regular shower because it promotes blood flow and releases tension. After you've done one cycle of that, I want you to repeat this cycle another three times and keep doing this until you do three full cycles. Once you're done, blast it on cold for that final cycle so you can feel refreshed and relaxed. At this point, boys, with what I've shown you, you have now organized your stuff to keep momentum. I've showed you how to breathe to increase your energy. I've then shown you how to stretch to grow taller to check your bank accounts every day to get richer. Showed you how to remove all the bacteria and grime from the day. And now, with contrast showering, you are now in a relaxed state. Perfect and primed for my last two habits that will make your life better. Number seven, you're gonna transform your sleep with a candle. See, once you're done with your long day of work and a relaxing shower, there's absolutely nothing wrong with kicking back and relaxing. The big problem is that most men ruin their sleep with blue light. So I'm gonna show you how to improve your sleep with a very specific type of candle. Now to do that, first, get rid of the blue light. Alexa, lights off. Next, you will want to replace all of that light with a candle two hours before you go to bed. Candles are better for when going to sleep because they promote relaxation due to the fact that there is no blue light wavelengths and it's a dimmer, more warm light next to your bed. Now remember what I said, don't just pick up any candle. Pick a candle that has lavender notes as they have compounds that interact with your neurotransmitters that help regulate your anxiety and stress hormones. In other words, you'll feel relaxed. And here's the, here's the real bonus point. It just sets the vibe. Bro, you have that nicely warm lit candle, it smells amazing, you're relaxing. This will change your life for the better. Number eight. I want you to grab a ball to use it to fall asleep instantly. Now, the ball doesn't matter. It could be a golf ball, a baseball, a tennis ball, or a lacrosse ball. You're going to use it to stimulate pressure points and reduce muscle tension to help you fall asleep faster. This trick is an athlete's trick. Almost every athlete uses it. So let's say you spend a lot of time reading or you're typing or you have tech neck and you have a lot of pressure points. This is gonna make it uncomfortable for you to fall asleep. So identify the point either on your upper back or your neck 
You're gonna find a wall and then you're gonna place the ball on the area that has tension and against the wall lightly. And then you're gonna just do light circles in that area, applying minimal pressure. And you're gonna notice the tension starting to release in your muscle. Do that in any area that you feel that tense muscle. And I promise you, you will have the best sleep of your life. If you do this with the other seven habits I just showed you, you're gonna make your life better and anyone can do them.